Well, everybody, uh, today Silver Santa and I are in uh, Wildwood, New Jersey. Uh, my fe first interesting find of the day is actually an unfired bullet. I've dug a lot of pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters out here. Um, this is actually the uh, first item I found other than uh, trash or coins. But for whatever reason, there's an unfired bullet laying out here. So, yeah, I'm not leaving that lay on the beach. Well, welcome to the wrap up. Uh, we'll start off with what my dad found. He found this weird pendant looking thing. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be. What it's supposed to be as far as uh, what it's supposed to depict. It almost looks like the letter A. Not really sure. He found a key. And he found a best friends token. Those are his three most interesting finds. He got two quarters, a nickel, a bunch of pennies, and four dimes. I ended up finding a bullet. I got two buttons here. One's a plastic button. I just saw that and picked it up, just like the shells. Didn't pick those up on the metal detector. I just saw them and picked them up. The metal button I detected, though. I got a bunch of quarters. I got two nickels. A whole bunch of pennies. I tend to find pennies more than anything else. And I got five dimes. Now, we ended up stopping at a bank on the way out to Wildwood, New Jersey. Uh, I'd actually asked the teller if anyone brought in any half dollars. Uh, she said no one brought in any half dollars, but someone actually ordered a box of halves, and they never came to pick it up. So they were, ended up getting stuck with this box of half dollars. Uh, she, she went ahead and left me buy that. Uh, I got a 1968 Denver 40% uh, silver half dollar, and I got a 2004 S. I believe this is a 90% silver half dollar. I know after a certain year they actually went, they actually go to 999 silver. I do believe this one's before they went to the 999. That would be a 90% right there. Uh, we also hunted some other boxes they have throughout the week. And my dad ended up finding a 1964 Kennedy half dollar. He hunted a box of quarters. Now in the box of quarters, this is the interesting thing here. Every one of these is an estimate mark quarter at the top. Someone dumped a whole bunch of uh, estimate mark quarters back. Pretty much what you have in those stacks is uh, pretty much the same designs. These are all Cumberland Island uh, estimate mark quarters. He ended up getting one W. He ended up getting some really nice uh, Philadelphia Mint coins, and then some really nice Denver's. I do believe they all came out of the same box of quarters. We ended up getting a total of five war nickels. I didn't recognize this as a war nickel at first. We were actually dumping coins back, and this was in the rejection cup. It wasn't one of ours, I, I don't believe it was, but either way, I didn't recognize it as a war nickel. My dad's like, you're fired. I'm like, why? I told him it's a nickel. He, he flipped it over to the back and it's like, oh, it's a war nickel. I had that thrown with a bunch of our junk change. We ended up with uh, two silver dimes and we got a 1978S perf time.
We got a uh, Washington Quarter. Now this Washington Quarter, it looks like it's missing the clad layer. It's just all copper all the way around. Pretty cool find right there. We ended up with four Buffalo Nickels, two Dateless, a 1935 and a 1936. We ended up with the 1938 Jefferson Nickel and two 1939s. Moving on to the pennies. Our four best wheat pennies we found is our 1920, a 1926, a 1928, and a 1953. This looks like it's pretty well uncirculated. It must add tape or something across it at one time, though. Now the back looks kind of rough, but whatever was across the tape, or the, whatever was across the front, I assume it was, it was probably tape. Whatever was across the front there pretty well kept that one spot nice looking. We ended up uh, getting all these wheat pennies here. They're all 1940s, 1950s common dates. We got two foreign coins, one's from the Bermuda, one's from the Bahamas. Uh, 1958, 1982, 83, 92, and 95 Canadian pennies. An 83, an 85, and a 93 Canadian nickels. We got some real nice uh, red uh, pennies here. We got some 1940s nickels and a couple 1950s nickels. These are the only 50s nickels we kept are 1950 through 1955. We usually don't keep any of the ones that are newer than that. And we ended up getting three unders. We got a war nickel, a 1937 buffalo nickel, and an unknown date buffalo nickel. We're not going to be pulling these out of the rules right now. We're going to do this in a future video.